Hello YouTube, today I am back with a brand new video but I will be making videos that are more informative and also more helpful to you guys because I feel like throughout my years on being on YouTube I feel like I've learned a lot, I've experimented with a lot of things that I think that I could bring some value to you guys and I don't really see a lot of um, women on here that are that have kind of like the same body type or body shape that I have which is the reason why I started YouTube and my blogs to begin with because I wanted to connect with other women that are like me that go through the same problems and I feel like some of you have a lot of tips that we can share amongst each other to help each other out, um, I don't know, flourish and look better in our everyday lives and whatever we choose to do. As I said before, I am quite small. Today's video is all about styling tips for heavy breasted women. And I am not talking about women that carries weight all around their bodies. I am mostly speaking for women with my body type where you are quite small and then are very busty. So for reference, I am a size 2 or 4 breast size or I used to be a 32H but after using my waist trainer since the summer for like a few months. I would say after using my waist trainer for about four to five months, I've lost a couple of inches around that area. Now I am a 30, now I am a 30H. I can wear 30H and sometimes if I wear 32, it's still, it's a little loose on me now. You target women that are small with a heavy chest. There are a ton of us out there and I feel like there aren't enough tips out there to help us out. The number one tip is to stop wearing ill-fitting bras. That used to be me for the longest time because I never knew my size. I used to buy my bras from Victoria's Secret. If you guys know anything about Victoria's Secret, most of the bras are padded. They are for women with smaller chests to help them enhance that area. And if you have a lot of boobs, Victoria's Secret is not the place to really shop unless that's the look that you're going for. My look has always been to minimize the appearance of my chest. So I used to buy bras from Victoria's Secret. I used to get a double D and you can only imagine myself right now in a double D bra when I am a size 8. It used to be torture. My boobs used to always be kind of like spilling. I can't move. Like Every time I drop something, if I have to pick it up, boobs goes flying it's out of the bar it's it's spilling over and then it just looked very excuse me hello all right guys we got interrupted i don't remember where i left off but i am just going to start over the number one thing is when you wear ill-fitting bras and that only shows under your clothes not only i mean you feel comfortable it really shows through your clothes and then that makes you even less confident i would say stay away from ill-fitting bras make sure you go to a place where you can actually get fitted don't go to victoria's secret because i went to victoria's secret they told me i was a double d <laughs> when I am not a double D when I am an H. Like, can you imagine? So for years I was wearing bras that just didn't fit me for the longest time. And then I understand you can go to the places where they actually custom made your bras for you. What I do find about these places, the bras are usually very ugly. And if you're young, you just want something that's very classy and sexy. And you do not want to wear like an old looking bar which was my experience with usually the ladies that have the shops that would give you your true measurements i would say go there to get measured i don't know maybe they have improved since i don't know since i got fit fitted by them i haven't been to any one of those shops because all i needed was knowing my size and since knowing my size i've made better decision with the bars that i've purchased in the past few years I would say Macy's is probably a good place in the States where you can find bras that kind of like fit you a little bit. But I would say the best place 
that I've been able to find so far where I find my sizes and even bigger sizes is ASOS because in Europe they have more options for girls like us that are small and that have a heavy chest or a bigger chest or a fuller chest, however you like to describe it, for busty women. But ASOS is really the best place if you have similar body types, if you're small with a lot of a large chest, I would say ASOS is the place to go to find bras that fit you. I've been able to find bras on ASOS, I don't really have that problem anymore. Now I am more confident in the choices that I made. What I do is I usually buy like a bunch of them because different clothing requires different on uh, because there are some tops like if it's open a little bit I need a bra that kind of like put my boobs apart a little. and if it's something that's closed off I need something I need a bra that keep my boobs kind of like together so I have like a bunch of options I have ones for working out I have some for tops that are more open I have some for tops that are more closed I have more for sweaters that kind of like reduce the the size to make them appear which is something that I've been able to do very well because usually people that knows me don't even know I have the size until I tell them or if we ever go on a beach vacation or something they see it then they're like what where you've been hiding all of this but I've been able to hide it pretty well and I think that's through loose clothing but one thing i'm realizing loose clothing it's not really that flattering you could still wear clothes that fit you um if you have this body type and still look good so this is one example of one one um bars that i am currently loving right now i will lift this below if you guys are interested in checking um those bars out i don't know if it's sold out or anything but this i love this one for every day it's like the perfect one it keeps them in place it doesn't move it doesn't do anything all i have to do is is um because i know how to sew i just have to sew this so it can stay because this is a little flimsy and then it keeps going up and if you have a short torso these can run a little bit long so i would say i had to do it for another one that i had it was long so what I did was I just sewed it, I just cut, well I didn't cut it, I just kind of like uh, folded it and then sewed it. So that way when I wear it, it stays in place, nothing moves. Another one that I quite like, it's this one. This one I like to wear with kind of like sweaters. I could, As you can see, this one has a thinner strap. So it will depends on what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing something that requires a thinner strap, I will go with this. But if I'm wearing something that's long sleeve where nothing will show, then I'll go with a thicker one. And I also like the one that I'm wearing. I'm wearing a white one. And sometimes when it comes to our sizes, you will find a bunch of like funky colors. Just go get measured so you can find what size you are and then just go on ASOS and make sure you find bras that fits you and then they're so cheap on ASOS also um it's so easy for you to just buy a bunch of them for like a hundred bucks try them on see what works for you number two avoid high neck tops avoid turtlenecks i am so guilty of this because i love a good turtleneck because turtlenecks are so classic and when it's cold outside is a perfect piece to wear with like a pleated dress or anything really i just love turtleneck it is going to put emphasis on your chest i would say if you're bigger than this and you still kind of like my size i would say definitely stay away from turtleneck but if you are my size i think you can get away with it a little bit by make sure you're wearing like a bra minimizer that kind of like minimize the size of your oops a little bit so if you can find something in between i would say it's okay but other than that stay away from high neck tops especially in lighter colors if you are lighter colors it's just going to put so much emphasis on your chest don't do it going to do that i would say maybe stay with black core colors like black navy blue i would say white yeah stay away it's just not going to look cute with unless that's your aim then that's completely fine but we're talking about the girls store 
you know, classy and who wants a certain look, who do not want to put all that out there. So stay away from high neck tops, turtlenecks, high neck dresses. Third one, I would say spaghetti straps. I love a good spaghetti strap. I wish I could wear them, but they are my worst enemies. So I kind of have to stay away. Let me know if you guys want me to do the opposite of this video to tell you what should busty or heavy chested women should wear. But again, when you wear a spaghetti strap, because you always have to wear a bra, it's going to put emphasis on your bra strap. It's like a little classy. It's just going to look all over the place, not cute. So yeah, stay away from spaghetti strap. Wear a strap that is a little bit thicker to cover your bra strap so that way you still look classy. Stay away from spaghetti strap. As soon as you put it on, it just screams that you have so much chest so much going on in your top um, area that normally wouldn't show if you don't show it too much. The third is to stay away from double-breasted blazers, jackets, or coats. Double-breasted is going to put so much emphasis on that area. So if you have some double-breasted jackets or blazers, I would say try not to wear them as much. It's so funny, I had to learn this unconsciously. I didn't know I was doing it. But when I started buying coats, I used to buy a lot of double-breasted coats until when I keep looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh, this makes me look bigger than I than I am. So I've kind of like given all of those coats away and stick with, you know, single-breasted coats nowadays. So if you wear double-breasted coats, if you have them in your closet and you have this kind of body top, I would say please stay away from them. It's putting so much more emphasis on that area. It's not a cute look. And the fourth or the fifth one, don't know what number I'm on right now, I would say heavy accessories on the neckline, long necklaces that draws attention to that part of your body, to your chest, which is what you're trying to stay away from. I would say stay away from any heavy necklaces or accessories, even scarves sometimes can put emphasis in that area. So maybe I'll do a video on how to wear scarves if you are... Um, a full chested or busty or heavy chested women so if you fall in that category I would say stay away from anything that crowds your neckline it's not a good look so you don't want that and I am guilty of this because I love satin and kind of like silk silk drapes on your body a lot nicer than satin because obviously silk is a more natural material so I would say stick to silk but I know that everyone can afford silk and I know also if you are vegan you probably don't wear silk if you know anything on how silk is made they are made for worms so um so yeah don't go watch it if you are going to be grossed out but but yeah, I would say stay away from satin and velvet because it kind of like hugs that area and then it makes your bust appear larger than it already is. Stay away from satin and velvet. Another don't is to don't belt your dress. Um, that is something I feel like I've always known, which is why I kind of have like a weird relationship with belts. I hardly ever belt things because I do find that every time I belt something, all of a sudden my chest appear a lot bigger than it already is. So if you're wearing a dress, I would say don't belt it. Um, I know some dresses comes with a belt, then you could do that um especially if the belt is a material belt like this dress that i am wearing right now i'll step back so you guys can see i'm not sure if you'll be able to see maybe i should just put some heels on but but this is fine but if i was to go and put on a leather belt it would put so much emphasis on that area so i would say don't belt your dress which is something that I've always stayed away from because I've always find every time I put a belt over a dress, it makes my chest look a lot heavier. So another don't, which could go in the same category as um, double-breasted coat, I would say is intricately designed coats or tops. I would say when it comes to print, stay away from prints on top. Don't wear prints on top. Like for me, you would hardly ever find me in up top that is printed I would wear something on the bottom 
so all the focus could go on the bottom not on the top that's just for me every time i wear a top that is printed it always puts so much emphasis on that area it always makes me look a little crazy which is i mean i wouldn't say crazy but it doesn't give me the look that i am trying to achieve again my look the look that I want to achieve is always classic and feminine and when I wear a printed top because I'm already heavy chested it kind of put a lot of emphasis there it kind of make me look less put together so I would say if you are, I would say if you are a heavy breasted you know girl woman I would say stay away from wearing prints on top try to keep that on the bottom I mean unless you're wearing like a dress try to go for very very light colored prints nothing too dark so i would say stay away i mean unless just like i said it's a dress and it's part of the the whole outfit then that is something you can get away with but when it comes to just wearing a top and a skirt or some pants i would say stay away from printed top and the last don't is loose clothing i am guilty of this one like i've told you guys all my life i've always worn clothing that were loose and clothing that are way too big for me many big breasted girls try to hide their chest by wearing loose loosely fitted clothing and just like i said i am so guilty of this one i still do to this day i have been better i've just been better at it by picking my proper size this day but it's still a learn um a work in progress for me because I've done it for so many years it's when you've done something for so many years it's really hard to get out of that mindset but I've just been better at it I would say when you wear when you're already small and you have big the big chest if you wear clothing a little way too loose for you it actually makes you look heavier overall which is my problem that I used to have I used to look way heavier than I was when you wear loose clothing as a big breasted girl rather than covering your chest it actually makes you look heavier overall which is not the look that you're going for and also stay away from clothing that are way too tight um and the same token not too loose not too tight when you wear things that are too tight it just makes you look too fleshy again like i said unless that's the look you are going for if that's the look you are going for that's completely fine um absolutely keep doing what you're doing that's working for you but i am talking to the girls who want to have a classy feminine look and don't want to show too much and still have a classic style so this is for those girls so guys this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have some other don'ts that we shouldn't be doing do leave them in the comments below i would love to hear from you i'm sure there are a lot of you know bossy girls out here like myself so yeah thanks again for watching this video i will catch you guys in my next one bye bye